I'm working towards an NVQ level two for my first two years of college. Then I go up to NVQ level three in HNC. So the first block release of college, I done electrical engineering, just learning the basics. And when I go back to college, I'm in mechanical engineering. I've been with AIT, which is assembly, integration and testing. So working on the armoured field, going, installing all the cables. I'm currently in SIL, which is building and repairing all the cables for the vehicles. Before I went to college, I didn't understand anything about electrical engineering because I went to college and learned the basics of electrical engineering. I could understand how to earth all the vehicles, like earth bonding and just repairing all the vehicles. At the moment, because it's just our first block, we're just going around all the departments, just learning everything. But my favourite bit is just being on the vehicles and repairing them and just seeing what's inside the tank, really. Short term is to finish college and the apprenticeship with the highest grades possible. And then my long term is to stay in the company and hopefully build my way up. The benefits and the help you get throughout the company and all learning, object, well, all learning is paid for, and the fortnight really, so you get every Friday off. I'd just say go for it really, because you get the work experience as long as learning and you get paid for it, so you don't get any debt just like to say you're on uni. Mainly do your homework on the company, make sure you know what you're saying and what you're on about, because they will expect that you've done the research. But don't be afraid, because it's mainly a men industry. Don't be intimidated by it and just get involved. Engineering, it's like you can say that you've done that, you were a part of making that vehicle, for example, in GD UK. So when like the tanks are out in the military, you can actually say, I worked on that vehicle. You got the accomplishment of saying I was part of a team.